I'm going to talk to you about the dimming cycle, or a PDSA. That stands for Plan, Do, Study, Act. And it's a very simple um, means of continuous improvement that's been in place for a really long time, since the 1950s. And it's been used for that long because it's very, very effective. It's based on the scientific method, and it's pretty simple, and it's just a way of, of making sure that we're continuously improving and um, taking steps to reach our goals. So the first step is to plan. We're going to first identify a problem, an area of weakness, or just something that we want to improve upon and start using in our classroom. So this may be something that you um, know you need to improve on for your evaluation, or you just know that you need to learn about a certain piece of technology and start using it with your students because it's going to benefit them. Whatever it is that you need to work on. So we're going to write a SMART improvement goal for that problem. Now, a SMART goal is a whole other, you know, lesson of professional development, but basically it's something that needs to be um, very specific and measurable, so you want to think about what data you could draw on to see if you're meeting your goal or not. Um, and it needs something that can be re realistically achieved in a timely manner. Um, so we're going to write that goal, and then we're going to make a list of what we need to do to be able to reach that goal. So what are some strategies we can put in place to help us accomplish that? And once we've done our planning, we're going to actually put some things into action. So you can see with a PDSA, you just you, you plan something and then you just try it. And then we'll, we'll evaluate later if it worked or not and what we need to do better. Um, so we may need to complete some training, like learning how to use a piece of technology or learning what you know, differentiated instruction really is. We may need to, to educate ourselves a little bit. We're going to make our preparations, and then we're going to implement some changes. We're going to follow those strategies that we put into place. Once we've tried it out, um, we're going to decide if it was effective or not. So we're going to study our results. We want to look at, at some data and see if our strategy has seemed to be effective or not. And then finally, we're going to act. Um, if we have achieved our goal already, which is unlikely on the first time around the cycle, but if we've achieved our goal, then we need to just take steps to make those improvements permanent, and then we can begin a new goal and an entirely new PDSA cycle. But more than likely, uh, we won't have actually met our goal yet. We'll, we'll see areas where we can improve, and we will want to go back to the plan phase and change our strategies a little and start this process over again. And we'll continue around the circle until we have achieved our goal. And it's okay to go around the circle many, many times in your attempt to achieve that goal, as long as you're always making continuous improvement and progress. So let's take a look at a sample of a PDSA as it applies to education. Let's say that you feel that there are too many students below grade level in reading comprehension and that's something that you really want to focus on. So you can set your goal to increase Lexile levels until 80 percent of students are at a grade level or higher by the end of this year. So you can see that our, um, our time frame for this is the entire school year. So we're going to go around this cycle many, many, many times. And if we meet that goal early, that's wonderful because we can set a new goal. Some strategies for achieving this is to um, complete the Achieve 3000 five-step literacy plan at least twice per week. We want to put that into place. And also we want to do many lessons on reading components um, as part of our teaching plan. So once we have that in place, we're going to actually put this into action. So there's some training that needs to be done. We'll need to make sure we know how to use Achieve 3000, and we're going to send you know, questions to Rachel about things that we don't understand and need some help with. Then we're actually going to conduct those um, strategy points, so the, the literacy plan twice per week, and many lessons on those reading components once per week. Um, and we're going to do that for one month before we move into the study phase and start evaluating if this was effective or not. So we're going to use a data report from Achieve 3000 to see if Lexile levels are improving. Have we seen any improvement in a month at all? Um, do we see any signs that what we're doing is effective? And then finally, we're going to determine if we've met our goal or not. And if we have, then we can start a whole new PDSA with a whole new goal. But more than likely, we're going to be determining if we're making good progress or insufficient progress. If our progress is good, 
then we're just going to continue our current strategies and we'll take a look at this again in another month and determine if we still think our progress is good. If the progress is not what we want it to be, then we're going to modify our strategy plan. So we're going to be back to the P part of the cycle and we're going to change those strategies a little bit, maybe add some more strategies to it um, so that we can have better effectiveness. And we're going to begin the entire cycle again. A month later, we'll be back at the study phase.